I mean, obviously, probably not the weekend you were hoping for here. How do you assess it? Um, I take it as a lesson. Um, because I know what I'm capable of, as well as everybody else knows as well. So this is definitely not a reason to count me out. Because definitely when I'm at my peak and I'm fresh, I'm definitely a force to be breaking with. So this weekend, I just take it as a stepping stone, knowing what I need to do, knowing I need to critique, them, critique myself on, and just go from there. Do you feel tired, worn down with such a long season? <sighs> yes, actually. Me and the fact I've been running fast for a long time. Um, not saying that others haven't, but the times I've been hitting are like outstanding times. Yeah. And so my body probably kind of telling me to slow down. That way, you know, I, of course you have to listen to your body. Even though no matter what you want to do physically, if your body's not on board, then nothing's going to happen. Yeah. So definitely I feel like that's probably what's going on right now. I mean, running 10-7, like, did you feel like you had to take time to recover from that? Or like, what was the, how did your body feel like after um, the NCAA meeting? Definitely my body for sure has not been used to running that time mm -hmm. compared to like veterans that's used to running like times like this every weekend so, and being able to do that turn around my body is used to that so I feel like <laughs> recovery is definitely important for me as of right now mm -hmm. is that just get back in the field you know to put, a, to put a good time to make myself look good everybody knows what I'm capable of so there's no point in trying to impress anyone is there any part in particular like of your body that really feels tired? um no comment <laughs> How long did you take the days off after the NCAA? Um, actually, I, I still didn't take any days off. Um, Monday, we got back Sunday, probably Monday, and I was back at work after Tuesday. Do you feel like it'll be difficult to mentally get over this championships? No, not at all. As an athlete, you have to take your wins, I mean, take your L's, your losses just as well as your L, your wins. If you can't do that, you're not a good athlete, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So definitely, no, not at all. It's a bounce back. Because like I said, I know what I'm capable of. I know what I can do. And I'm definitely going to put that back on the field when I'm fully rested up, fully um, back to my, my, th my thriving point. Is your season done at this point? or will you um, keep As of right now, I don't know. But um, by the looks of it, I probably was like a minute to myself. <laughs> so next time you're gonna see like a better like stronger counselor Shakali? Shakari. That's my name. But um definitely I'm definitely coming back. I just came out here because it's exciting my first one. So I definitely want to get a feel of it. But now I've gotten a feel of it because of course making a world team is nice. But overall everyone wants to be an Olympian. So definitely that's my big goals. That's my bigger goals down the line. Today, this weekend was just, you know, just like I would say like a hype me, so to say, to going into the 2020 season. I feel like that's what that is. But it's not as nearly important as the Olympics. What was the toughest part of this weekend? The toughest part of this weekend was the mental aspect of competing. Um, probably by like just getting my body on one accord, on one basis. But my mentally, mentally I was here, but physically my body just was not on the same page today, yes. this weekend. Were you, in January, were you expecting your season to last this long? Definitely not. No, <laughs> not at all. I thought after June I was going to be good, have self time myself. No, not at all. I did not expect this. <laughs> Are you still glad you made the decision to turn pro definitely, when you Definitely. Definitely made it. I'm glad because the time I ran wasn't like a flock, or like a, a flaw on the clock. I ran that time. I did that. So I know it's still in me to do it again. Just like I said, when I'm freshen up like just freshen I want to court mentally and physically but definitely oh yeah I'm coming back yeah. <laughs> technically how did you feel about your hundred race um well my hundred um it wasn't I felt as my best but like I said I know what I can do I know what I'm capable of and it's gonna come what are you capable of <laughs> what do you think you're capable of in the future I've ran 10, 1075, correct? Mm -hmm. I'm definitely capable of that again and more. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you.